Hey guys, today I'm going to show you we're going to add some logo in um, 2024 theme. So for this demo, I'm using local host and as you can see I have a logo here. So my logo, if I click it and it will come to my home. So I'm going to do the same with this uh, demo with this one. So first of all, I'm going to uh, upload my logo.png. So first step is you're going to prepare your logo which is I save it on my desktop and if I hover it, it is a PNG file. It's uh, the dimension is 316 times 71 pixel. So you can obviously upload a GPG file or whatever and you can uh, uh, customize the size as well. So first step is I'm going to cPanel now to upload the file. So file manager and click it. Here we go. And here we look for WP test content, themes, 2010, images, upload, pros, logo.png, open it. It's complete now. We're going to refresh this page. So reload. And our logo.png is there. Now we are ready to go. The next step is we put our dashboard and appearance editor. And go to header to the PHP because we're going to edit it. Copy all of this and um, paste that in in Notepad Plus Plus. Change language to PHP. Go back to our uh, blog and right click it to view page source. And it says Internet News Today. I'm going to right click it and um, copy it. And go to Pet Source. Uh, now we go for the Internet News Today. So there it is. So now we're going to copy this. It is inside Div ID Branding. So inside this Div, we're going to copy all of this and open up uh, Notepad. Paste that code and clean it. So div ID branding roll banner, which has a H ID, site title span, and href. We're going to type in this to make all simple. So now after we clean up our code, we copy this code. Go to Notepad++, hit Ctrl F, find, paste it, and next. Now, refine it. It's on the line 57. Close it. 57. And as you remember, we look for uh, HID side title, which is this. So we're going to delete all this code. Right, and paste this uh, code to our copy of this code and paste that in to this notepad plus plus and clean it and close uh, comment it out in case we forget it and of h1 site title and logo now we already commented. So once we already commented, we're going to edit some things here. Lift the span. Here is the span and here is the closing. So now we're going to type in the dynamic code inside the h5, which is php blog info home. So whenever the user click your logo, it will display your homepage. Title, it says internet news today, which is the name of homepage. So we're going to type in the dynamic code as well as um, php block info info and um, name. Close the php file and let the rel home and we're going to uh, delete that as we want image. So 
after and uh, hit enter few times we're going to uh, paste in uh, not paste in but uh, write the code which is p uh, image so img source because we want to uh, display the image here quote and what kind of image source so we're going to type in php and echo to display and block info and um, it, inside this parameter we're going to type in where the our uh, template is whenever wherever our template is so template underscore directory and um, after so after this we're going to point out where our image is so our image is in images remember images and then local um, dot png to type in this and dot png quote now we're going to add alt in case uh, our image is not showing alt uh, so if not showing then the text will display so text which is the name of our home page so php blog info and name right now we are ready to go we copy all of this and go back to our dashboard and paste that in and head to php update file refresh it and now we cut an error what's up so we go back again to our code and see what's wrong it's in line uh, 57 57 that one okay so it's all comment out we must did something wrong here all right we turn close our PHP so that was our mistake so so now it's all okay copy all of this copy we go back to our cpanel um, header.php and paste that in and update file now we refresh our block and our logo it's displaying one thing though that you see border here and we don't uh, want that so to do that I'm going to use my firebug and inspect that and as you can see now it is in style CSS line 362 so the next step is we go to our dashboard go to style sheet and style.css so in style.css we copy all of the code go back to our um, notepad plus plus new and paste that in change language to CSS and search go to line 362 which is branding diff branding IMG as you can see here is the border so border top and border bottom we don't need this border anymore I'm going to delete this and border top we're going to delete that as well and replace it with none copy all of this go, go back to our style.css and paste that in update file and refresh it now once it's refreshed it has no border so that's all guys i hope it's going to be helpful. thank you